we've shown these kids playing with little toy cars here and being hushed by the maid to help reinforce the idea that M protein is associated with carditis. So toy cars for carditis. Now let's move on to discuss post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis, or PSGN. This is a condition that's similar to rheumatic fever because it's caused by our immune system after a strep infection. Rheumatic fever is a type 2 hypersensitivity reaction, whereas PSGN is a type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. A type 3 hypersensitivity reaction just means that antigen-antibody immune complexes are deposited in the glomerulus. To represent this idea, we've shown this tangled up cord by the window that looks kind of like a glomerulus. Now that we've discussed rheumatic fever and PSGN, I should mention a couple other important distinctions. First, rheumatic fever only occurs after strep pyogenes pharyngitis, whereas PSGN can occur after pharyngitis or skin infections. Also, rheumatic fever can be prevented with the treatment of penicillin, whereas PSGN cannot be prevented with penicillin. We'll talk about treatment more near the end of the video, but for now, let's continue discussing the story. Notice that now we've shown this bass guitar that accidentally got knocked over by these kids. Bass sounds kind of like bacitracin, so it's our symbol for the bacitracin test. Because the bass guitar is broken, we can infer that it must be fragile or sensitive. Therefore, the broken bass guitar represents that strep pyogenes is bacitracin sensitive. We discussed this figure in our Viridans group streptococci video, which was section 9, but recall that if there is clearing around a disc saturated with a compound, then the organism is sensitive to that compound. So notice that there is a large zone of clearing directly adjacent to this disc. So if this were a bacitracin disc, then the organism here would be bacitracin sensitive. For step 1, you need to know that strep pyogenes is bacitracin sensitive. Now we've shown two guys playing poker towards the front of the image. Notice that the guy on the right is really stressed out, as you can probably tell by him pulling on his tie. He's probably doing this because he's losing the poker game, and is about to lose a bunch of money. The fact that the tie is red and around his neck should help you remember that strep pyogenes commonly causes pharyngitis, or a sore throat. This is an image of group A strep pharyngitis, Notice that the pharynx appears very swollen right here. Obviously, to play poker, you need money, so we've added several pennies on the poker table. Just like in our other videos, pennies are used to represent penicillin, so the treatment for strep pyogenes pharyngitis is penicillin G. We've also shown some sapphires on the table. These are a bit more valuable than pennies and make the game more exciting. Sapphires sounds like cephalexin, so it's used in this image to help you remember that another treatment for strep pyogenes is cephalexin. This is typically used to treat skin infections, such as impetigo. 